In this lesson, we're going to jump ahead just a little bit to kind of show you where Feature Cam shows uh, the representations of your feature in the user interface. This is pretty simple. Uh, obviously, the first place that Feature Cam shows uh, your features represented is on the view window. And if you look at the part that I have shown here, I've got a two dimensional view. We're looking at the part from the top. And what you see here is a circle with a cross in it. This is actually a feature. This is a hole that's already been created. And off towards the middle of the part, you'll see a rectangular box with rounded corners, also with a plus in the middle. This is a pocket that I've already created. So we have two features that are visually represented on the screen. We have a hole feature and a pocket feature that are represented. Now, there are two other places where Feature Cam represents these features. Uh, let's go over to the toolbox and take a look. You'll see a, a view here where it says Part View. Let's go ahead and click on that. When you do, you'll see if you roll down to Setup, you'll, you'll note that my two features are also shown on the drop-down tree as Hole 1. And when I click on Hole 1, you'll note that it highlights in red. When I click on the rectangular pocket, you'll note that my rectangular pocket highlights in red. Now also note that there are checkboxes next to each one of these features. And what that means is that particular feature is now active. So if I were to run this part, both, or the program uh, that would be produced, would include both of my features, the hole and the rectangular pocket. If I uncheck the box, now that feature is it's still there in the background, but it is inactive. In other words, when I create the code, or create the part program, it will only create the rectangular pocket because it's the only feature that I have active. So this is a useful function that's, uh, that you can see here that's in the part view. So again, features are represented in the part view as well. Finally, the last place where you'll see the, uh, the features represented is if you click on the results window, you'll see the operations list. And here we're showing all of the different operations that are associated with each feature. Now you'll note that my hole is shown twice and my rectangular pocket is shown three times. That's not because I have three rectangular pockets and two holes. It's because there are two operations associated with the hole feature. Likewise, there are three operations that are associated with the rectangular pocket. In other words, to produce my rectangular pocket, there's a roughing pass that's a, an initial roughing pass, and then there's a second roughing pass and finally, a finishing pass. And now you may ask, well, how do you know uh, which, which operations are associated with your feature? Well, we're going to get to that when we get into future lessons. Again, the intent of this lesson is just to show you the three different places where features are represented in the user interface. Okay, so uh, again, we have the, the, the view window, obviously, first and foremost, where your feature is graphically represented. Here's a, here's a feature uh, pocket feature, and here's a whole feature. Also in the toolbox, you'll see the part view where we have our um, the setup uh, tree and you have the hole and the rectangular pocket also displayed here. And again, we can activate or inactivate those features. And we have our operations list uh, from the results window. And here's your feature. And you'll see that they're listed duplicate times or in, they're listed in duplicates because there are more than a single operation associated with that particular feature. So um, don't worry if it's a little bit overwhelming at this time. Uh, it'll, it'll all be crystal clear as we get into the future lessons. Mm -hmm.